There was once a time where I wasn't on YouTube, but instead I was relaxing. But how did I live in the Philippines on such a low budget of $600 a month? More importantly, how can you live in the Philippines for less? The first step is the most important, and that is choosing the location. If you're looking to retire cheaply in the Philippines, you will need to avoid the major cities and islands, such as Cebu and Manila. This is because the cost of living in these areas will significantly increase your budget. Instead, you're going to have to choose a cheaper area, such as those found in Mindanao. I chose Davao City, as there are plenty of nice houses close to the city center. I found a small one-bedroom house in a nice neighborhood for 10,000 pesos, which comes to around $196. If we then add the utilities, this reaches $247 in total. The next step is your daily spending. This includes food, water, shopping, etc. Food costs are very low, but they can be even lower if you can buy in bulk and cook at home. $220 was spent each month in this category. You can also save by shopping online. Lazada is the Amazon of Asia and you can buy t-shirts and other clothing items for as little as a dollar or two. Stage 3 is where we introduce convenience. More specifically, how will we travel and how will the laundry be washed? Washing at home saved a great deal of cash, so the only real expense I had was traveling. Japanese are the cheapest ways to travel. The fare is around 8 to 9 pesos, but to avoid loose change, I often gave 20 pesos per ride, and in total, I rode the Japney around 15 times a week, resulting in a total cost of 300 pesos, or just over $4. So far, with the house bills, utilities, utilities, daily expenses and convenience options, the total budget is currently sitting around 471 US dollars. The remaining $129 is spent on luxury items, events and general living expenses. Before we look into questions, I will say that your budget will depend on your lifestyle. In reality, there are many budget-friendly living experiences to be had in the Philippines. Still, at the same time, there are also certainly many high class and expensive lifestyles to be had especially within the Manila area. One question you may have is about the health insurance. I decided not to get health insurance as I had little savings but this was a risk. Looking back I could have potentially reinvested my remaining budget into a cheap health insurance scheme such as Phil Health. You may also be wondering about the quality of life. Due to the low budget there were times where I wanted to do something but I couldn't this lifestyle was challenging, however the overall experience living in the Philippines was fantastic. However, preferably, raising the overall living expenses to at least $1,000 a month would have provided much more freedom. Another question you may be wondering is, is this even possible? This question is fair because living on such a low budget in the Philippines is not common for expats. And quite rightly, you will often need a budget of at least $1,500 a month to live well. But it is possible to do. If you can lower the most significant categories which tend to be rent, food and transportation then your overall living expenses will be much lower than the average expat.